when are we going to be satisfied? When are we going to be happy and satisfied? When the weather is cold, we complain. And when the weather is hot, we also complain. When, when it is raining like today, we complain. This is why I asked you, see, I got you. It is a miserable weather, Father. But you know what? Every condition and every situation we go through, there is always a complaint of some sort. John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you said he's got a demon. He has a demon in him because he's not eating, he's not drinking. There is something wrong with him, mentally sick. And then the Son of Man came, eating and drinking, and you said, he's a glutton and a wine-bibber and a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Which one is it? So if I come eating and drinking, you say, why are you eating and drinking? And if I come not eating nor drinking, you say, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you eating nor drinking? How do I win with you people? What else can there be done that has never been done by me, I, Jesus Christ? I've done everything for you, but you are still whinging and complaining. Until when are you going to stop from complaining and once in your life say, thank you, Lord, I am very content with everything you have given me and you have done for me. You can never satisfy people. Please pay attention. So this young man went to this old man and he said, Father, Today, I will do something. I'll make sure every person is happy with me and satisfied. The old man looked at the young man with a big smile on his face and said to him, My son, my hair has gone white and my beard like Bishop Murray, the good looking one, and I've never was able to satisfy people no matter what I did for them. He said, listen to what I'm saying. I am more experienced than you are. The young man insisted, no, I will prove to you, my old man, that today I'll make sure everyone is happy with me. The old man looked at the young man and uh, he said, looks like talking with him is not going to go any, anywhere. Okay, my son, let's see what you're going to do. They had a donkey. So the young man came with this genius idea. He said to the old man, he said, you get on to the donkey, you sit on the back of it, and I will, with this rope tied to the donkey, I will pull the donkey along. I'll walk and you sit on the back of it. He said, okay, son. So they come out, people look at them, and then people said, what kind of a father is he for him to sit on the back of the donkey and let this poor son walk on foot? Shame on you, father. Didn't win. So he went back again and he said, look, this time I will sit, the young man, I will sit on the back of the donkey and you old man pull the donkey. He said, okay, son. So they walk out. People look and they say, there you go. A young person, healthy, strong, sits on the back of the donkey and poor old man barely walking. Let him walk. Shame on you, son. Didn't win. So he goes back again and he said, okay, this time both of us will sit on the back of the donkey and we'll ride the donkey together. He said, okay, son. So they sit both of them on the back of the donkey and they go out. People look and they say, poor old donkey. All its life carries weight. Shame on both of you to sit and break the back of this donkey. You have no mercy. The young man 
goes back to the old man and he said, this time I got it. Both of us will walk and pull the donkey. So they come out walking both, pulling the donkey. People look and criticize them again and say, are you dumb or are you dumb? What is the donkey for? You leave the donkey and you both walk, no brain. The young man gave up. The Lord says, John the Baptist came fasting. You said you are demented. The Son of Man, meaning Jesus Christ, came eating and drinking and sitting with tax collectors and sinners. You said, how dare you eat and drink and sit with sinners and tax collectors? The Lord said, okay, then what else satisfies you? Whichever way I come to you, you are always not happy. What makes you happy? What is the secret of contentment? What is the secret of saying, I am happy and satisfied with whatever I have and whoever I have? The secret is one thing and one word, L-O-V-E, love. You see, as a Christian,